What's up guys? My name is Elle and welcome to my channel and my first ever booktube video. This video has been in the making for so long. I have been saying for months that I'm going to do this video, but just for one reason or another, I haven't gotten around to it. But today is finally the day I'm filming this video and it's going on the internet. Obviously, as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be doing the booktube newbie tag. So without further ado, let's get into the video. I have the questions on my old phone, so if you see me looking down, that's what I'm doing. I think my answer is pretty similar to all the other booktubers. I wanted to meet and connect with new people who enjoyed reading and enjoyed talking about reading as much as I did. I don't really have a whole lot of people in my life who I can talk to about books and while I may be able to talk to them about books since they aren't readers themselves, it's kind of difficult to have a discussion about a book when the other person has no idea what you're talking about. And also I have been rambling and ranting to my boyfriend about books for almost two years now and I think it was time I gave him a break. This is a difficult question because I feel I'm pretty average, pretty normal, so I don't know right off the top of my head what it is I can contribute. I guess I can promise to always be passionate about all of my videos, to always give 100% in all of my videos. I genuinely care about reading. I genuinely care about the characters that I'm reading about, and though that may sound kind of corny, it's true. So I do promise to always be open for a discussion about books. I'm excited to meet more great and amazing readers. I've already met so many people on Twitter and they are definitely the kindest and most supportive people. I'm excited to read about new books and be exposed to other books through this channel. I live a pretty simple life where not a whole lot goes on. So through reading, I am able and feel like I'm transported to other worlds and again it's corny I know but it's the truth it's how I feel when I'm reading is that I get to experience something or read about someone else's experience that obviously could never happen to me and also it's just fun people who say reading is not fun just haven't found the right book for them this was a question during Booktubeathon, and then I had said it was either the Nancy Drew series by Carolyn Keene or the Fear Street series by R.L. Stein. Both fabulous series. I would definitely say I didn't read them religiously, I just read them because it was what was most convenient for me. I didn't get a whole lot of new books when I was younger, so it was basically whatever was on the Goodwill shelf. And these were two books that were frequently there and that I enjoyed reading. It wasn't until I read the Iron Face series by Julie Kagawa that I really started following a series. The Iron Face series was truly the first series that I followed religiously that I got every new book as soon as it came out. I definitely really connected with the characters rather than just reading it because it was all that I had. I read it because I really wanted to because I truly enjoyed and wanted to know what was going to happen next. And actually she just announced on Twitter that she's writing a new book as part of the Iron Face series and I am super stoked for that and I can't wait to review those books once they come out. I would definitely ask about critical reading and the first booktuber who comes to mind is Emma from Emma Books. I just love the way she gets her thoughts out on camera. I just think she is amazing. Even an, an unboxing video, like it's just so well put together. I love the way she, like I said, how she gets her words and thoughts across on camera. Something that I don't think I'm very good at. So I would definitely ask her about tips and advice on how to do that. I'm not a good critical reader. I think I get swept away by my emotions that I forget to critically read. And I do want to get better at that. I do want to read critically, not just for fun. Of course, that's perfectly fine, but it's just a personal goal of mine to read more critically rather than just for fun. And definitely, I think one of the greatest people for that is Emma. 
staying up to date with the newest and current Booker series just because I think this community is all about staying current. Everyone's always talking about the new releases. I think that will be a challenge for me because I don't always pick the newest and most current book. I do take suggestions from booktubers that I watch if they're reviewing a newer book and I think hey wow that sounds really interesting I want to pick it up but it's not necessarily because it's new and when I go to the bookstore I take hours browsing at the books I'll go and purchase whatever sounds interesting to me even if it is a couple years old rather than gravitating towards a new release I don't know if that will impact my channel or not but I do think that will be a challenge for me just because there are so many books already that are being discussed on Twitter that I sometimes feel a little left out on because I haven't read it yet. So I think that will be a challenge just trying to keep up with all of the new releases that are coming out. I can give you a timeline of or even an estimate of when I started reading just because for as long as I can remember I've always liked to read and I know that's something my mom always tells me that there was never a time where I didn't have a book I guess since I was able to read I have been reading and that both comes from my memory and my mom's memory I'll read basically anywhere. Most commonly I do read on my bed just because I don't have a designated reading nook or area um, and I'm most comfortable on my bed and I usually read before I go to sleep. I do also read at Barnes and Nobles. Me and my boyfriend will sometimes take reading dates and we'll go to Barnes and Nobles and just read and with that if I'm really interested in the book that I'm reading or I'm really into what's going on at the moment, I will just take the book and read it in the car as well. It just depends. I wish I were more varied with my reading material, but if you take one glance at my bookshelf, it's pretty clear to see that I gravitate towards mostly YA fantasy books. A close second would probably be mystery thrillers, Think Agatha Christie, James Patterson, Girl on the Train, Gone Girl. Books related to that, that's what I enjoy to read, but definitely number one is YA fantasy. Hopefully my reading will get more varied as time goes. That's the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and if you like this video, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. I do plan on making better videos. I do have two bookish boxes coming in at the end of September and I do plan on unboxing those on my channel so if that's something that you're interested in definitely subscribe so that you're notified when I upload. Again thank you so much for watching leave a comment down below with your favorite book that you've read so far. My name is Elle thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.